Okay, so here we are. We are with the new lab, which is Analyze Images with Azure AI Vision. This lab is going to focus on Azure AI Vision service. So obviously, initially, we have to do similar kind of steps, which is cloning repository and creating Azure AI service. But then after that, the processing is going to be with image analysis. So let's get started. I have my lab environment loaded here. This lab uh, is going to associate with this username and password of the subscription. So like always, I am just going to open my Azure portal first. So let me just open browser. I'm going to open portal.azure.com. And then I have to log in with this username and password credentials, which are mentioned here. Remember, this is a cloud slice, which is going to provide a subscription and a resource group for a limited period of time. Uh, once I log in into this, you can see the lab timing is visible here. So I have more than two hours to complete this lab. Well, I'll complete this thing a much earlier than that. But yeah, this is how it is working in the scalable. Uh, no thanks. And I'm inside the Azure portal. Now, it's the time to follow the instructions which I mentioned here. So let's get started with that. Analyze images with Azure AI Vision is what we are doing right now. First, they are saying start a Visual Studio code and clone the repository which is mentioned here. So let's do that. I'm opening my Visual Studio code which is already part of this lab environment. Git clone. We'll take the repository URL. And that's it. Select the repository destination and we'll go for C sharp. Now this kind of issue is actually really common. It happens sometimes that it's not able to clone the repository properly. Um, let me just retry this once again and then it will be fixed. If this is still not fixed, we have some other ways also to clone that. So that's how it is. Let me just try to do git clone once again in the Visual Studio code. Most of the time because of the internet connection it creates an issue but yeah you just retry it second time and it's going to work. Suppose if it is not working even at the second time, you can take this URL and you can just execute git clone locally in the command prompt. Most of the time that way always works. Uh, yeah, I think this time it worked. I'm going to click on open and that's going to open this project, which is obviously going to have lab files. I have to focus on analyze images and I think inside that we have the C sharp version of the project which we are going to use. Now, in the next step, we have to provision an Azure AI service resource. So let's do that. Going to Azure portal, creating a new resource, which is going to be my Azure AI service as usual. While creating Azure AI service, this time they're mentioning that I have to choose my subscription and resource group. But after that, I have to create this particular service in the specific regions. Now, because we are using Azure AI Vision service, there are chances that in all the Azure regions, it's not available. So whichever regions they have mentioned here, you have to choose it from there only. Now, let's say I'm going to choose right now, not Europe. And then I'm going to specify some name for that. So let's say this is Maruti AZ AI SVC with some number at the end of this. And then I'm going to specify a pricing tier which is standard S0. I'll tick mark this and if everything is fine, we are just going to click on review plus create. And then the deployment will be done within few minutes. Create. Now, the last step is mentioned here that once the resource is successfully created, we have to take care of the keys and endpoint page because this is the place where we can get that endpoint and the keys associated with that, which will help us to associate this project with our application code. The deployment will be done very soon. Meanwhile, the next step is preparing to use the Azure AI Vision SDK. And in order to do that thing, we have to install one package. So I think that's the next thing which we are going to do. Yes, I think our resource deployment is done. 
I'll just go to my endpoint section in this particular service. This is also Azure AI multi-service account. So not only Vision, other Azure services are also available in this. And yes, I'm ready with my endpoint and my keys. Let's go to Visual Studio and then we have to go into the C-sharp part of the lab one. So that is exactly here. In that particular C-sharp part, we have image analysis project and the image analysis project is the place where we are going to open that in terminal. Inside the terminal, we have to add the package. That's exactly what we are going to do now. So no, I do not want to install any extensions. We are fine without that. Yes, terminal is open, executing the command .NET add package, which is a specific version. I think beta version is what we are installing right now as per the instructions. And uh, once that is done, we have to go to app settings.json and we have to provide our endpoint and key inside that. Okay, let's do that. So inside the image analysis, we have app settings.json. Uh, let me just take my endpoint. Now, these are the common steps, actually, if you are doing the labs or if you have already seen my other videos of the labs, you know, the steps are almost everywhere. Hey guys, sorry for interruption. My name is Maruti and I'm here to make a very important announcement. I hope you are liking our videos and you're doing a continuous learning with us on an Azure cloud and AI related topics. If you are enjoying this thing, I'm going to announce skilltech.club, which is our upcoming website, which is going to be launched very soon. We are here to tell you one thing that everyone who is a subscriber of this particular channel will get Azure Cloud and Azure AI related certification courses free of cost in skilltech.club. So you will be a part of the skilltech.club kind of a membership automatically free of cost. And everyone who's a subscriber of this particular channel will get those benefits which are available in that. So what are you waiting for? I request you to please subscribe to this channel and share it with your friends and families if they are also interested in Azure Cloud and AI learning. That's it from my side. Now you can carry on with your learning. Thank you. Yes, now we are done with the endpoint and key. So we are going to save this and let's move forward. Okay, now once we have this, we have to go to our program.cs file, which is a step number four, and there we have to add a namespace, and then we have to add a code. So let's go through that. This is a program.cs. We have to add one namespace. So let's say we are going to add the namespace, which is using Azure AI Vision Image Analysis. If we check the code of this, it's going to use the service endpoint, service key, we are providing one image which is street.jpg. I think this is one of the image which is available inside this images folder. And if you want, we can try the other images also like person and building is also available. The analyze image uh, is going to happen with the help of this Azure AI vision client object. So I think that is what we have to do next. So let's go to the steps. It's showing me that we have to add an authenticate Azure AI vision client kind of a configuration here. So let's do that. This is added. This extra comment is not required. And this is our code, which we are going to provide. This instance is going to associate with the SDK and it's going to create an endpoint based service key based client object. Using this client object, we will be able to analyze image. And in that we are specifying the properties like the file name, endpoint and the key. Now, after this, when we scroll down, we have one particular section, which is getting the result with the specified feature to be retrieved. Now, this is that code which is going to retrieve whatever is coming from that particular server side API. So after the email analysis process is done, whatever response which we are getting is going to be result will be visible here. We are trying to fetch certain details from that, like the caption, dense caption, objects which are found inside that, tags which are found inside that, and the people. And then finally, to display this result, we have one last section of the code, which is this. Now, this section is initially right now just trying to uh, get the image caption, get the dense caption, and because it can have multiple, we have a for each loop associated with that. Same way, if you want to associate with the tags and the other configuration, 
we can add on the configuration for the image tags, the objects in the image and the people in the image also. Um, right now, we are just going to save this and then we are going to run the project to see whether the first two things are working or not. So we just saved it. We'll do .NET run. And let's see whether the image, which is street.jpg, is actually working with that or not. Now, while the application is running, we have to wait. So let's just wait for this. Oh, with .NET run, I think we have to provide the image path also. I think, yeah, that is the thing which we have to do. So let's just uh, analyzing image street.jpg. That's what we just started right now. And yes, you can see it's showing me a caption that this is a caption which is a man walking a dog on a leash on a street. And this is showing me the confidence score, which is more than 80%, which is good. And then we have a caption generated for that. We have a dense caption generated for that. And let's see, let's see if the, the captions are matching with the image. Yes, of course, this is an image which we have provided as an input. And I think the captions and the dense captions are matching with that. This is as simple like this. Now we can observe this image, we can observe the configuration, we can change this also with the specific image inside that. So let's say if I want to run this with a different image this time, I can just change that, okay, I do not want to use street.jpg. Let's say I want to use person.jpg now. And when I use person.jpg, Yep, it's showing me a man in a suit. It's showing me a similar kind of dense captions also associated with that. Now let's see a person, is it like that? Yes, of course. And this is a correct one. Same way we can try with building.jpg also. Now let's complete the code with the program.cs first, then we will try the other image. So we have get image tags, which is going to get the tags for that image. Uh, we have get objects in the image which is this code. Now we're not going through each and every line by line code right now, but I'm sure if you understand C sharp, it will be really easy for you to understand this kind of a for each loop executions with that. And then finally, we have a save this object kind of thing. Okay, we have get people in the image also, which is here. So inside the get people in the image, uh, we have to provide this configurational code, which is going to take the reference value with that, okay. So we are going into that, get people in the image. And uh, anything else? No, after this we can just save and we can check whether it's working or not. We also have one last thing which is remove the background or generate a foreground map of an image. Now that code also we can implement inside this. So let's complete that also. Now, when you're doing this thing, it is advisable for you that you do it one by one. You see what changes are happening inside that. And according to that, you can understand what is exactly happening when you execute this. But I know all these things are uh, going to work fine. So I'm just going to save this. And then uh, this is going to be creating a new image with the name background.png inside the images folder. We do not have any kind of uh, image right now with that name in this. But yeah, we'll get that thing once this is executed and uh, then we can change the configuration as it is there. So let's do this. I have saved this project. Now I'm going to run the project, but this time when I'm running the project, I want to use the third image, which is building.jpg. So let's use that. And let's see whether it's working or not. Let me just increase the terminal size a little bit. This is analyzing images. And we got the output. We got a caption, uh, which is for the building.jpg, which is a large white building with a dome and a large lawn with United States Capitol in the background. Uh, we got a dense caption. We got a tags also like outdoor, cloud, grass, tree, sky. Now, if we just check this particular one, which is uh, building.jpg, this one, this is a building.jpg. And yes, cloud is there, sky is there, green, trees. This all the tags are actually something which is perfect for this. And in the people, we have results saved in the person.jpg, results saved in the object.jpg. Now, these are the things which are objects which are configured with this. And uh, you can see we got objects.jpg where they found the object. We got persons.jpg where actually they identified the person also. They are 
some people who are walking on 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 this lawn actually and then when we focus on the background.png they have actually removed the background which is a cloud kind of a background which was there so this kind of processing is also happening fine very well and the awesome thing is everything is done with the code so when you want to customize things like you can see here we have a background foreground kind of configuration which we can change it inside that i'm sure you're going to try this in the lab and then once you're done with that you can clean up the resource and you can delete the resource so this is what exactly this lab is doing uh, if you want to try some other things like we have image classification we have object detection we have face detection kind of a configuration here this is going to show you the code samples associated with that but in this lab environment you won't be able to try all of them you need to have your own subscription in order to try the other labs but this repository is going to show you all of this code samples inside that i hope you understood this uh, this is the end of this particular lab so i will clean it but for you this is end of the video i'll see you in the next lab thank you